Hello, welcome to the workbench with Jerry's Firearms. Today we're going to install the Surefire Warcom. It is probably the most popular muzzle device in the AR game. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to degrease the threads on the barrel. Uh, there may be some oils there, there may be some grime from shooting. So we're going to use a degreaser, some gun scrubber, and we're just going to spray the threads down. After that, just take a paper towel. Right. Just give that a, a minute or two to, to dry. Now that the threads are dry, we're going to degrease the threads um, in the Surefire War Comp. And we're going to do that by using the gun scrubber again and spraying that on the Q-tip. You can just go ahead and just twirl it in there. All right, the Warcom, uh, the threads on that, they dried. We waited a few minutes for that. And now we're gonna go ahead and spin the Warcom uh, onto the barrel here. But the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the, they call it the chamfered spa spacer. And basically what this is, is one side of this has like a bevel on it. And that bevel side, you're gonna go ahead and place that uh, towards the upper receiver end of the gun. Gonna put that on. Then you're gonna take our war comp and we're gonna spin that on. Okay. So now if you could just see the, the position here where this, this indicator is and, and the, basically this, this hole that's on the collar, um, that's gonna tell you um, where this sits now is gonna tell you within the manual of what shims you're gonna need to install in order for this war comp to line up in the correct spot. And on this installation video, we're actually gonna uh, put the war comp um, in, the, in the neutral position. You don't see many videos where it's actually set in the neutral position. You'll see a lot of uh, uh, right-handed shooter positions, but right now we're gonna do the neutral position. So by seeing where that this marker uh, indicator uh, on the bottom of the war comp ended up, uh, it looks like we're gonna need two red shims and two no color shims so we actually have those set aside here and you're at first you're gonna you're gonna back the war comp off you can keep that chamfered spacer on there and then the correct way to shim is to put the two bigger shims on the outside and sandwich these smaller no color shims uh, on the inside almost like a, we'll call it like an oreo um, so I'll set that up. Looks like I have my red here. Now I have my two no color, which are the really thin ones, and then my red on the outside. And again, we're just sandwiching those together. And then we're just gonna push that on. Then we're gonna take our war comp and we're gonna just confirm that it is uh, just about, we'll say 11 o'clock or so uh, from the neutral position which would be considered the 12 o'clock because you are going to need a little bit of, of buffer room there to torque the war comp down um, so it's not going to fall exactly in the right spot just yet but with some torque uh, to the right we should be able to get that in the center position so as you can see there is six sets of ports here and there's three on one side three on the other so this is this is your your neutral area right in the middle there and that's just offset um, again at like 11 o'clock and now I know that once I grab my torque wrench I can just uh, put some pressure to the right around 20 pounds it calls for uh, and this would then fall into that exact neutral position okay now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna torque uh, the war comp down get that into position so you're gonna put the uh, this was supplied by Surefire we'll just call this our uh, our flash hider wrench we're gonna go ahead and just Put that on our torque wrench here. Go ahead and slide that in. And then Surefire calls for this and the, tor the torque wrench being on a 90 degree angle. So we're just going to manipulate that a little bit. Put it on the 90. And then you are going to tighten this up until that Surefire, um, these ports here 
uh, end up uh, in the center uh, so that this reaches that neutral position. Okay, great. The torque wrench even clicked. Um, so, this is in position, but there is still one more step. We're actually gonna pull this off. Um, this way you don't lose calibration on the torque wrench at all. And we're gonna go over to this breaker bar and we are going to bust this loose because in order to finalize uh, the install of this work comp, uh, we're gonna have to put some, some rock set on the threads. Okay, so right now we are going to knock this war comp loose by, by go ahead and giving pressure to the left. Great, okay. All right, on this run, we're gonna apply the rock set supplied by Surefire to the threads. Just put a little dab. Uh, you don't have to drench the threads with the rock set. And then what you'll do is, is you will use your Q-tip to maneuver the rock set and kind of let it set into the grooves uh, on the end of this threaded barrel. Put another dab on the back side. Again, we're never using too much. One more dab we're going to put on the end of this Q-tip and we're also going to use this on the interior of the work on and just just circular motions in there on the threads within the muzzle device. Okay. Let's go ahead and move this back into position. And I can tell with my left hand, I'm holding the, the shims here to the left, keeping them uh, intact with the barrel. I'm also keeping them nice and even. Um, this way, when the pressure from the war comp goes up against uh, the shims there, they don't get crunched, they don't fall out of place, you won't have a shim hanging off the side of the barrel, it kind of looks uh, cosmetically um, ugly. Um, so we, we're going to go ahead and keep those nice and straight, and then just snug it up. Alright, now I'm going to take the, the torque wrench that's sent, set to 20 pounds of torque. Uh, we have the device from Surefire that was supplied to us again, uh, and our torque wrench here, we have this on a nice 90 degree angle. I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna snug that up and send uh, send this war comp to the center here on this barrel. And you can actually hear the torque wrench click. You know that that's good. Pull that off. And you can tell it's in the perfect center position. Um, another thing uh, is that we strongly suggest that you we wait at least 24 hours uh, before firing the weapon. Um, cause you have to let that rock set set up there. Um, otherwise there is potential where if you went and shot this a few hours from now that you could bust this loose. Um, but that's it. That's your installation. Hey, what's going on filthy animals. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, we appreciate you coming by the Cherry's Firearms workbench and we hope that you enjoyed the installation of the Surefire War Comp. Can we, where's my closing in this? <laughs> thanks for thanks for stopping by because we just installed the war comp. It's one of uh, probably the the best uh, and the most. Uh, let me start this over. <laughs> we'll add these to the blooper reels at the end of each video. All right. <laughs>